Hello everybody, it's Flash Flare and welcome back to more Banjo Kazooie. Today we're starting off Freeze Easy Peak with a bit of a drained life bar, but today we're really gonna get things done. One thing I want to mention before I start though, uh, usually I've been doing worlds in two episodes and then the note run. This I'm going to probably because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all the jiggies in this episode. I'm gonna probably be doing three episodes of the world just to let you know. Okay, Twinklies is the first thing we want to do. There's a jumping present box here, so we want to open that up. And out pops. We're the Twinklies. Protect us from the Twinkly Muncher as we hop across to our tree. If enough of us get there, we can light up the tree for you. Hooray, talking Christmas lights. That's always been a pleasure. Not really. That's not a pleasure. Uh, let's hit these twinkly munchers on the back of their heads because they're obviously mmm crunchy and tasty. No, they're not obviously crunchy and tasty. What I meant to say is they're obviously the bad guys because anybody who would eat Christmas lights, seriously, they've got serious mental trouble. So we're gonna try to bang it out of their heads. Usually, you want to get rid of the first one before he eats too many, and you can kind of move down the line. If you keep in rhythm, you can get a lot of twinklies in before they're munched, kind of like that. But you gotta be really careful, because these guys will pop out a little faster than you anticipate, and eat the twinklies before you're quite ready for them. Kind of like that. They just pop out and kill you. The twinklies or whatever. Twinklies actually make a reappearance in Banjo-Tooie, which is, I find awesome, because the Twinkly, uh, no, what was that game called? There was some game in Grunty Industries, Light Packing or something like that, where you have to pack Christmas lights, and it is just the funnest minigame ever. I've got to give it that. And there we go. No more munchers after that, so we just did it. On switch. Phew. That was close, but we made it. Now, switch us on. Okay. Apparently now we have to... No, oh, man. An ice cube. Come on. Ice cubes. The best way to defeat them is rat a wrap, and they'll split into two. But this time it actually ended up benefiting me because I got more of uh, life that way. That was a horrible shot. Or free, I should say. Uh, sometimes the way to help with these shots is to go up and press the up C button so you can aim. It'll always be aimed the way you were aiming. So that'll turn the top light on. Yippee! Be a star and you'll find your reward! Hurry! This guy's undergone serious voice change. So anyway, uh... Yeah, we gotta go up and find a fly pad is what I'm gonna try first. That's what I remember it as being. You fly through the star like once or twice. Something like that to turn on the tree. Uh, let's see, over here is the star. And it is shining. This is one of the um, jiggies with the most parts I've ever seen to getting it. Okay, I'm gonna beak bomb just to show off. Apparently, I say apparently, way too much. Uh, you have to go through this more than once, I suppose. Oh, rats. I really wanted to do that on my second try. We're running out of time here. But I'm gonna hold the R and flip around really quickly, fly up, and through. 13 seconds left, just like the first challenge. So now, it's a good thing we're not timed on this, because I don't think I'd do too well. 23 feathers. Down to Earth again. Uh, now... The easiest way to get up there and get that jiggy, actually the only way, is to grab this mumbo token first, climb up the trunk of the tree, and... Tickers! Tickers Tower kind of rendition. I'm a present. Give me to someone sad. No. Just say no. Uh, Tickers Tower. We haven't seen these guys in a long time. Ticker, uh... They're, they're just really awesome. I don't know why they weren't brought back. I don't know how to get up there. We're blocked by walls of green things. I suppose that would be leaves. If I could just get my camera to focus alright. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but it's really been my thought for eternity ever since I started playing these 64 games. The cameras! Why couldn't they have done better? The rats. The camera can't go through the wall or anything. It just can't. And really, in Super Mario 64, it was pretty much the worst. But I'm not counting out 64 and Kazooie just yet, because the cameras were pretty bad there, too. They made a couple improvements in the Sunshine and Galaxies and GameCube and Wii. Uh, but it wasn't much. I mean, they could have done a lot better on the cameras in all the 3D games. If the 
if it could just kind of alpha the background. Uh, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. I use this language too much. If they could alpha the background, meaning make it transparent, then, uh, for just that, finally, for just that little part, then we could really have a lot easier playthrough. Oh, come on, I was almost through that. I almost got through that without falling and hurting myself. I'm always one of those people who falls down and hurt myself. I'm not, I'm just a clumsy person, and so is Banjo. He can relate to me on these things. Over here is a honeycomb box. I guess we can smash that. Uh, three honeycomb pieces. Not empty honeycomb pieces, though, mind you. And this big stack of presents. I wonder whose presents these are. Goliaths? Uh, oh, mumbo token. 23. That'll make it a lot better than it was. Because we need 15 in this level. Each level it goes up 5. The price for Mumbo, for the animal transformations. Speaking of which, I'm going to go over there now. Well, no, actually, I'm going to try to collect all the presents first. Uh, brr, it's cold. Nice warm backpack for me, too. No, I can't fit too many of you in there. Just remember that before you call your friends over for a pizza party in there. It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be all fun and games. I'm one of those people who just likes to doing parties. Dude, that was a well-thrown snowball! These guys, what I really want to know is where do they get all the snow without killing themselves? It's just not a funny thing. Whoa! That was a cool view. Do it again! As you can see, the backdrop on these 3D games. As I've mentioned before, epic. Just plain epic is the word that describes it. Oh boy, I made it through without getting in the icy water. Oh, the not run for this level is sure gonna be something. Okay, uh, now up here, where we went before, I was trying to find the passage up here to the snowman scarf. And I'm, I'm pretty sure the present, the last present that we have to get, is somewhere on top of the snowman scarf. It always... Who would put a present in a high place like that? One of the, um, question of the day, I suppose. Not many people do these, but... Some people do, and it's kind of fun sometimes. Which Banjo-Kazooie area would you most like to live in? I mean, permanently. Probably me, it's either going to be, uh... You no, know, there's pretty much no competition. It's got to be Freezy Easy Peak. Even though I do enjoy the warm weather sometimes, uh, the, there's something about this level that's not quite as dangerous as all the rest. Okay, third present. Take me to the kids! I'm the last one! So apparently Boggy did it. Oh man, we're gonna die. What? Okay, apparently Boggy did have something in mind for the kids. But right now we're going sledding, because we don't really care about that. Uh. Ooh, I'm just barely balancing on these buttons. Whoa, and. Oh, come on! Who in the world would have thought of that? That is. Those snowballs defy gravity on purpose. They're just on purpose. Okay, now where I think I'm going to go next is the beginning of the level, which is Boggy's Egloo. And this level design. Another thing I praise for this level, the level design in this level, it's amazing. They, they make use of both the vertical and the horizontal kind of ways. Oh, big hulking banjo carrying present! What is in that thing, Cole? It's warm. Good, I was holding two at once. Wow, thank you, brown bear! Wow, wow, wow! Three presents! Yippee! Now we've all got presents. Here's something for you. Jiggy! Jiggy! Now our presents all go away. And the happy music plays as we know that kids get what they want for Christmas. We are the Salvation Backpack. Oh, look at that! The ultimate praise and honor for doing that. I hope that's the video thumbnail. I've been getting into these things where I try to pick the video thumbnail by focusing on something for long enough. It doesn't usually work, so... I'm, I'm very sad most of the time. Because picking video thumbnails is just about the best thing that can happen to you. Oh, if I ever become a partner, I just want to pick the video thumbnails. That's all I want. Oh, I kind of want to make money and have a banner too, but... Picking thumbnails would obviously be the biggest piece of the pie. Four honeycombs left, we gotta be careful around here. There's no way I'm gonna make this jump! 
Oh, which is why I didn't try, Wonder Wing! Not gonna work. Apparently, you just have to be swimming and all that. Because you can't really swing with your wings around you. Mumbo! Hello, everybody! Why is there snow in your place? Eight Mumbo tokens. He drained us. Oh, we're going to have to collect as many as we can in this level. And you're gone all fat! God, big shut up! We're gonna walk out on you before you can finish your sentence. Show the ultimate forms of disrespect. Now, let's see. Over here, some Wonderwing feathers. Uh, and... With this, with the walrus, you can't go quite as quickly. So, the snowballs may hinder you a bit more than they usually would. But don't worry about it for most of the time. Just jump when you feel it's necessary. Like right there, that was very good that I jumped. Uh, you want to jump when you feel it's necessary. Okay, Boggy. First, I want to get a little refill on health. I don't think the walrus can attack, though, so that's probably going to be a problem. Hey, Mr. Walrus. Fancy race? Hop on the sled if you do. Well, I kind of do, but I don't really want Great. Now, all you need to do is steer your sled through the red... Sam... Sorry, I just spit there. Through the red... Did he say salmon gates? That's what it looked like. Anyway, uh... Yeah, I'm taking an early lead here. It's gonna be amazing. I'm just gonna win this race on my first try. Because... Oh, he's fast. Man. Okay, up here is the thing. You do not want to hit the sides of the flags like that, because then you'll have to go back faster! Get out! This is too easy! I'm giving up! You're giving up?! And the sled just folds under our weight?! This is too easy, I'm giving up. Never say that, always finish strong. Finish strong is my motto. Uh, yeah. He's giving up because he's scared of our impeccable speed. Because we could obviously take a shortcut. But kid, three, two, one, go! Back down, start. Hopefully I can do it this time because, uh, I don't want to hit that same place where I did. Uh, because that is a very, very hard place. Not good. I'm doing good here, so I think. Oh man, come on! Faster! Chip! This is too easy. I'm giving up. Ow! Oh, and now we fail in the same place again. Not very funny. Come on, Mr. Walrus, jump on the sled and try again. Oh boy. Good luck, kid. Three, two, one, go! This time, I'm not going to make the same mistake. I know it. This time, I'm going to go through all the red flags that soon turn green and purple and blue. Green and blue and red, I mean. Not purple. Purple is not the right color. This time, it looks like I'm doing a bit better. I'm acing it. Finally, finally. Keep going. Uh, sometimes, like, what is happening right now... Which is kind of why I just stopped there, is because on these races where you always have your finger on the control pad and you can't stop moving, especially in the 64 games, your finger starts to slip, especially if you're sweaty, and you gotta kind of back it up and reposition your finger, which can sometimes make for a- oh man, I'm falling behind. Faster! You're not trying back there! Oh yes I am, and I'm going to whoop you! Just look a couple seconds into the future. You're going to be done for. Never give up on these races, ever. Because there's always a chance, as you're seeing right now, that you can pick up the race and near come back out of pure amazement. Up the hill, we're getting near to the end. Bang. Bang. Repositioning myself. He's pushing me. Yes! And that's it. He is angry. Phew, you're too quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to race some of my own size. <laughs> Just look for the walrus, wherever he is. And now on the presents, we'll see the jiggy and all that junk. That will make us have seven jiggies. And now we gotta go find the walrus, which is... Oh, wow, another walrus. Take this. But watch out for a smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner. Hey, who are you calling ugly? You come back here, you fan! He's just one of those cocky fans that he likes your playing style, but he doesn't really like you for who he is. Okay. That was a lot easier than I thought that we would actually find him. 
Now, going down, here he is. Why? Hello again, Mr. Wallace. Feel free to have a look around. Waza's cave. So apparently this is Waza. And we gotta have a look around this cave. Down here, I recall, is a nice little secret. You gotta go under here. I don't know how long walruses can stay underwater right off the bat. Uh, but, ooh, yes, this is a prize. Honeycomb piece. And that'll make it that many. Just that many. After the next level, we'll get another energy piece. That's number four. And I guess right now we can be headed out of this cave, because there's nothing more other than that. Unless you want to collect the gold, red feathers and all that. As you can see, there's nothing. I seem to remember icicles falling from the wall in this place. But that must have been Donkey Kong 64, so... Onward with our quest! Uh, yeah, Donkey Kong 64, Crystal Caves, there was always a tremor going on, and it was really discouraging to... Mr. Scaredy Pants, whatever that is. Up there is the orange ginger, which we'll be covering much later in the game, which is awesome! Okay. Well, actually, we'll be getting him, but that's different. Okay, this has been Flash Flare, and come back next time for when I take on the second part of Freezy's Peak, hopefully get the note run done, and head into Kobe's Valley. See you guys then.